Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The issue is not street corner. The issue is not a particular market, but some sort of trading. As the only source of livelihood, they now lost us. In what you saw yesterday in Kenya, a street vendors rioting is one of the consequences of the corridor situation associated with their need for them to put food on the table. So there's another challenge, not just to fight Korea, but we must find a solution. That is multiple enough, well thought enough, to allow even the aspect of our citizens putting food on the table as being equally important. It doesn't have to take priority. <coughs> For us who aspire to be leaders, for us who occupy public office, all of us, they must understand that solving a problem creates other problems. And hence what we saw. And here's our specific comments on the street vendors and riots as a consequence of the fight against Corona. As I have already indicated, firstly, we would like to call for genuine calmness and unity or purpose as our country continues facing these very, very difficult and unprecedented challenges. Because only then we will be able to move as one big Zambian family. Very important for us to exhibit unity of purpose in this particular situation. With our concerns about lack of leadership in PL, it's not our mind. With our concern about their inability to plan, there's no doubt about it. We are concerned about the haphazard nature in which the situation is being managed. Nobody needs to doubt about the inabilities that we see in the PL. Because it's clear now even those who were arguing before, when we advised them, they all now agree that this party could be a personal capability to provide leadership in a country. Even in the absence of Korea, just ordinary leadership, they're failing to do that. It's evident. But within that cons if you like, environment, we still need, as UPND, as a team, as a leadership, we still need a unit of purpose so that we can go through this difficult situation. So that's the first thing we are asking for. It doesn't matter who we are, what is our religion, what is the part we belong to. We have to work together to solve this problem. But it doesn't stop us advising those part, occupying public office how to manage the situation and what they should have done. I think that's the confusion PF is bringing. So, we are politicizing the matter as you did. We're not. I will show you that it is them who have politicized this matter. It is them who have failed and as a consequence of their failure, we have corridor, which is being mismanaged. But we all have to work together. What I'm saying to you is not contradictory. It's very clear. So, it is also important that we understand, all of us as a country, that, uh, <coughs> as I've said, 
violence or can be caused, a source of livelihood has been taken away from people. Taken away maybe rightly so, but it's, it's a fact that we follow through this process problem that the anger that we saw yesterday arises from, you know, taking our people out of the streets, taking them away from income opportunity. We all know the history that is associated with trading in those environments. We know that. If you're Zambian, you know that. The PA, by and large, have been largely behind creating this, these unsanitary, unsanitary trading environments. For years. And we'll show that in a moment, why we are in that now. It is also a fact that I would like us to share as a people that the large, amongst many reasons, but the larger portion of the reason why our people trade in these unhealthy environments is because of the absence of opportunity, alternatives, alternatives in terms of jobs, employment. How many people, how many children leave college today and will get a job? Think of your own in your mind. How many? Very few. So even families that have employable children, children who have graduated from college, they are not in employment because this government has failed to create employment opportunities. We're still, even those who genuinely want to do other businesses, they don't have that opportunity to engage in other businesses because the economy is not generating, <coughs> under the leadership of PM, is not generating those business opportunities that will take our people away from exposing themselves to <coughs> unsanitary conditions in the areas, in the places they operate, in the street corners, even in designated markets. So it's important that we understand those basic facts we share. Then it will be easier for us to walk through and work together in these difficult situations. If you look at um, PFS economic policies, and someone when I was on ZNBC, tried to suggest that uh, UPND policies are comparable to PFU. That's an insult to UPND. There's no basis of comparison, comparing UPND policies on anything, be it agriculture, be it education, be it, if you like, energy, and those of PFU. Because in PFU, there are no policies. They don't exist. They may think their policies, economic policies, they're not there. When you follow them through, there's nothing in there. That's why you see total disorganization, tip and tip and tip, all over the show. So their inconsistencies in their policies are partially responsible for the situation that we have. But we recognize that, but we still work and help to save the lives of our people. Very important. But that's no contradiction. PF would like us not to talk about their failures so that we can just all work together in dealing with the core of the matters. That's being simplistic. That's trying to behave like an ostrich. You forget the things that they brought us into this situation. Because Corella is avoiding. And then you say, okay, let's just fight Corella. Yes, we'll fight Corella today, together. Give it. No question about it, but we also must provide remedy to the reasons, the core reasons that have brought us this Corella pledge. So, negligence has its fair share of why we are where we are. Negligence from those in government. We were supposed to have a rally in Kanyama in October last year. It was cancelled. And the reason given why it was cancelled by the government, only in their own accord, was that there was corridor in Kanyama. 
The question is that, what did they do? What measures did they put in place to make sure that cholera does not spread beyond Kenya? Does any one of us know the measures they put in place? No. Nothing. <coughs> Shouldn't we be saying it so that it doesn't happen next time in the same way? We don't lose lives as a result of the inability of those in public office to put remedial measures when they notice that there's a problem. Corella vaccine, shouldn't it have been administered a year ago? Latest in October. It's being administered now. Where is the planning? Where is the thinking? Where is the management? Where is the leadership? Where is it? I don't have to answer that question. You can answer it for yourselves. But we all agree. If they had taken those measures way back, probably, not even in August, June, May, June last year, we wouldn't be where we are. We would have saved lives that we are losing. That's the point. And we should talk about it. And the PM should not preemptively say, you be a native, don't talk about other issues. What are these other issues? The issues we're talking about are important. Proactivity, management, leadership, planning. Very important. So it didn't happen. <coughs> It is also true that part of the reason we have cholera today is because resources that are meant for investment in the public health have been diverted into private pockets through corruption. It is, is that not true? Yes, provincial chairman, Lusanga. Yes, Patrick Michelek. Fire tenders. Where is the distance of some normal human being calling themselves as leaders to steal seven hundred thousand dollars per fire tender? You multiply that by forty-two fire tenders. My quick calculator boy mentality tells me it's well over twenty-nine million dollars that some would put in their private pocket. Imagine. Imagine if we had put that money in Kanyama and elsewhere as early as May 2017. We wouldn't have lost lives today. That's the point we're making. And please don't shut us up. Don't hide behind accusing us of politicizing Korea so that we don't talk about your failures. Don't do that. Now you are even telling us, no, 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 let's just pray about it. It is not true. You just can't tell citizens to pray about it. When you are failing in your duties, because of your greed, because of corruption. How do you explain somebody in a country where citizens are unemployed as a result of that, they are in the street corners, buying ambulances, which cost $65,000 maximum, call it $70,000, and you are spending $250,000, $288,000. Let me contextualize that. In today's money, that is $288,000. You know, if you like 2.8 million. In the old money is 2.8 billion. One land cruiser. Where is the morality? Where is this thing of humbleness? You people in the media were told that no, let's vote for a humble man. Where is the humbleness? Is it not true to say this is a lion in the lamb skin? 
So people mourning Akangwa Avandu Tureshika is because of the corruption taking away money from clean water supply <coughs> providing toilets in the markets it's because somebody has taken away in that Lusaka dollar road not less than 700 million dollars Yeah. I'm serious. Because we already have two lanes yeah. in the opposite direction. Yeah. So it means you are doing the single lane. So I'm saying somebody's taken away not less than $700 million. Dollars. And today you are saying, we are not on the body coil. We are not on the body coil. That's the point. You want to be the richest. The point. We should talk. We should protect citizens from incompetence, from corruption. <clears throat> If we had put $700 million, dollars, as we would in the UPA, when our time in office comes, coming very soon, sooner than many of you think. $700 million dollars we would have invested in making agriculture viable, lowering the cost of inputs, not 250 quarter bag of fertilizer, and you're only selling maize at 45 quarter effective price. Dr. Bear, not even 60 quarter they announced, 45 quarter. <laughs> We would have put that part of that money in youth education, entrepreneurship, and we would have created jobs. 
start growing the economy by reducing the debt mountain, causing us huge debt service amounts every every year. We would have saved that money and put it in the economic sectors where it is most needed and would have created the jobs. I don't think anyone of you now is having doubts you pay this capability to do just what I'm saying. Exactly. It means we'll have taken some of our youth, some of our women away from the streets. It means that we would have put toilets and clean water in the markets. It means that the riot in Kanyama yesterday would have not taken place. Politics. Politics. Politics is life. Politics is leadership. Politics is management of resources. Politics is when you are UPN the zero tolerance of politics, you can save the seven hundred million dollars, you can save to twenty-nine million dollars on fire tenders, you can save another so much on ambulances. And you can shift that money into supporting youth education, skills development, agriculture, hospitals, particularly public health. You can save and that money and put it elsewhere where it's most needed. My fellow citizens, this is the issue we are talking about. Connecting the dots. Let's not be simplistic. Let's connect the dots. But we have still said we will work together even with the corrupt and the incompetent peer government in the fight against Korea to save lives. If we were wicked, we would not, we would have not even provided any solution at all. If we were wicked, we would have said, let the citizens know that this is a bad government. Citizens know that already. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow you hear that UPND is to get the Kanyama rights. No, we don't support rights. We don't support rights. We don't. And our record is clear, very consistent, very methodical. And that's what failures do. When they failed, they are looking around. HH hasn't done something like, ah, oh, let me blame GBM. No, 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 Nikando. No, Mashingel. No, Kakoma. No. Ah, Mucheleka. I no Kamba Kamba. I'll blame Mucheleka. Imenda. No, take responsibility. Zambians already know that there is a failure of leadership in the PF. Yes. Even those who may have refused that voted for them. Because we won the election. It's clear. Right? So, let's not buy media, please. Let's not buy this storytelling saying let's be donated dustbins. I don't know about those dustbins. I have no idea. <laughs> Created an image on uh, in, uh, social media, place it and say this is HH. And then this instead of covering our genuine donation, you go and cover that dustbin which does not exist. I want someone to show me that in the physique. In the physique. I want someone to show me that dustbin. Unless they create it today. So you digressional. You spend time on peripheral issues, miniature things, non-consequential things, and leave people to die of Korea. Let's grow up. Let's grow up. We as a society also must help politicians to grow up by encouraging them to do wrong things. We pay the price. Let's help them grow up. Let's hold them accountable. Let's, let's be decent. I see. A lot of people think I don't read your WhatsApp stuff, mm. your Facebook stuff. I read. Mm. And one of the things I would like our Zambians to do, let's not walk in the remit of pettiness, mm. ethnicity. Why would you spend so much time arguing over ethnicity? I, I read this stuff. Arguing over who goes to which church. Mm. The body of Christ is one. We are all Christians. If you are a true Christian,
Christian, you know the body of Christ is one. Who are you arguing about denominations? Arguing about which region were you born? No, those people are bad. They should never rule. You're challenging God. Where did God create all those people you call bad? Because you have people. If anyone challenges God, even your leadership will fail, as is what is going on now. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, I'm talking to the nation through the media. Can we help the politicians by managing them and telling them things they should not be wasting time on? And for ZMBC, we don't want to sue you again. We have already got a ruling that obligates you to cover. You be is there. You are not respecting the court rulings. That's why we are fighting for the rule of law, to respect the rule of law. What was that just been all about? When this man and his team Amanda and uh, my dear sister there, Tavares, we are making a small contribution which we put together in a methodical way by first visiting the sites, very methodical. See the challenges on the ground, Korea, talk to the medical staff. If you watch that clip of Kanyama, we asked the medical staff, what are your priorities? And they said, okay, we will consult. And they consulted during the process we were waiting. And pushing. Some say, no, don't receive UPND donation. How can you say that when people are dying? <laughs> Who is the seriousness? And then you start pushing a dustbin <laughs> on the day when we are donating items, that small donation. Mm. I want to make it clear. Very small donation. Mm. But the river is, gets full through chicos yeah. for water. That's my encouragement. Everybody should be encouraged to donate. Together we donate small amounts, small quantities of chlorine and whatever else, we will find this corella thing and end it. And we don't do it for people, we do it for the people of Zambia. <laughs> Why would we do it for people? Why? Why? People who are pocketing $700 million on one project. Why would we be concerned about that? But we are concerned about their children. Because great people, they don't even look after their children even after stealing $700 million. You see, because their children are also suffering. They don't have jobs. They are dying out of Korea. We wanted to contextualize this thing. To stay away from accusing anybody to say is sponsor the riot. Why would we sponsor a riot instead of sponsoring more Koroli? Yes. Why? It tells you that the minds of certain people is always negative. If, if, you, if you promote walking backwards, how can you promote positive thinking? Do you know this? The walking backwards. How can you promote positive thinking? You Zambian, please also examine us in public office. Even from the slogans, you can tell. At the walk backwards. <laughs> so you walk backwards instead of vaccinating against Corona in May, June 2017, you are vaccinating now because you were walking backwards. You understand that? And then you cause the deaths of many people. So we want to advise as UPND on street vending. As UPND. We've talked about the consequences, we've talked about the problem we have and the consequences, multiple consequences. Here's our advice. Part of it, because we have a menu, well thought out menu. Our policy advice on street vending. We urge the government to find alternative areas of trading for our people with adequate sanitation for the street vendors who have been taken out. They must do that. Find our street vendors alternative trading places which will be sanitary acceptable in terms of conditions, toilets, water. If you are able to pocket and buy properties in Dubai, when you were not even able to buy a one-room property three years ago in Osaka, now you are buying four five-story houses. What would you, what do, you do with a five-story house? You know, we economy, economy say, at that point, there's a theory we say, 
diminishing return setting. There's no more additional utility value. But because you've never seen money in your life, if you can take away so much money from your poor citizens and put it in, 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 in Dubai, you should be able to find alternative places and seek bores all in need. If the aquifer is polluted, as we have been arguing, you can supply water points in the new designated areas where there's clean water. Put flushing toilets there. It's an easy job. Stop polluting the underground water in Lusaka. Stop throwing affluent in the open streams as my dear colleagues shouting here or not making me aware that effluent is being thrown in the Chahimbana River or its tributaries. Open. Chung. Stop doing that as a government in office. Bring back some of that $700 million you took away from the roads and manage the sewer exposure systems immediately. Patch the holes. There are a lot of holes in our sewer system today across the South, across the country. Get the signs quickly. We will give you help. Don't worry. We will not abandon you, not because we like you, but we like the people of Zambia. We will give you an idea. We will give you ideas. But it has to be done immediately. That's why the new cases are not stopping. Because infections are being occasioned because of the poor sanitation, but associated with allowing the street vendors removed from their streets or the markets and put them in a place which are acceptable in terms of sanitation. The money is there. That you have to want to win a money. Come later, money, come later. Bring the money. If you care for the people of Zambia, I challenge you. Ruatamani. Even Andara Mamnatinga. Even to Mono Chabi for now. We'll deal with the bigger money later on in future. We're not going to do that. But bring the money. Story tomorrow, but we are challenged. There's no money. So, find places for our marketeers so that we can deal with that issue I started with. That this is a multiple problem. You try and contain cholera, you are now causing death through hunger because our people have no food. Yes. And what we are coming back to call the mulen to be a banyumba. What's a mulenga na kumanzo? Mulenga ni pama. So now, death through cholera, death through hunger. Both are deaths, isn't it? Can we say it's better to die out of hunger, not out of cholera? We don't want any of our citizens to die out of hunger, out of cholera. So PF provide multiple solutions to the cholera. We will help you. I've already said that. We are not helping you. We are helping the people of Zambia. Mm -hmm. I repeat, so that the message goes clearly after today's press briefing. Mm -hmm. So that it's not convoluted with pettiness mm -hmm. of someone talking about dust people. I'm sure that's how she was then nominated to parliament yeah? yeah. after talking about dust yeah. Yeah. And you can see the cheapness yeah. Yeah. Is that what is important? Yeah. So, that's our first measure. In the markets, so, just to reiterate, again, we don't want to hear, no. We are recommending that the people who have been displaced from the streets, some of whom you took there as PF yourselves anyway. Ah, Give them alternative trading places which have clean water, water on toilets. It is possible. Immediate. Associate immediate now, yesterday. Yesterday, because 
then that's how you stop rioting. Yes. Instead of accusing UPND that they are behind rioting. Yes. That's measure number one. Associated with the same measure is to stop disposal of waste in open rivers. Go around the townships quickly. That's why you were seeking to be elected. Even different Angola elected in the NG to different Ogoans are here many. Since you were now from Angola elected through dubious means Mangalam, solve these problems. And I hear many people say, "Yes, yes, I in Angola, I end up going to be a cause of it to cause it." How can people be so ignorant and talk that? I see it on social media. It's a big debate. Why should that be a debate? We're doing what we are able to do. Some of which we don't even announce. Because culturally, some of us don't like to talk about what we do, which is of a philanthropic nature. And I think that's the big point as well. Yes, so you are occupying public office, you are collecting taxes. <laughs> road tour money is missing already in big quantities. Yes. 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 This is the time we need it. Yes. Divert it from those expensive projects. Yes. Take it into the fight against oil. Yes. We are recommending to you. I hope Mukum. Further recommendation, further recommendation associated with this aspect. The second further recommendation. All the markets where our citizens are trading from, which have no waterborne toilets, which have no proper clean water supply, focus must be towards making those available. Clean water supply, waterborne toilets. Now, yesterday, Dala Masiriko. Dala Masiriko. So that's our other recommendation. Next, third, we're recommending that yes, we need to fight coral, yes, we need to remove street vendors, yes, as we have recommended, re relocate them, but stop breaking their stores, stop breaking their merchandise. If the merchandise is contaminated, we have no quarrels. It's a medical issue. But why do you break the only asset someone has? Just a table. We don't blame the military men. Let's understand it correctly. It's the instruction they are giving. We are saying to those who are giving them instruction, Minister of Health, Minister of Local Government, change the instruction. We in the UPN are saying change the instruction, stop breaking tables of marketeers who the only asset they own to earn a living is that table. Because they will be trading after Korea is over, isn't it? Yes. So how are they going to afford new tables? I hope you are reading, you are following the flow of this argument. Yes. yes. We can disinfect that table. Yes. That's what we are recommending. Don't break the table. If the merchandise is infected, in a proper government, for us in the UPND, we will be working out measures to compensate the marketeer for that reason. Which then gets destroyed by this compensation. Have you forgotten when there was a swine figure, you know, uh, swine uh, fever in the 90s? Farmers were compensated with the pigs slaughtered. So we are saying and demanding compensate the marketeers for their merchandise. Yes. Yes. Let's think. Let's have genuine love for our citizens. Let's not pet around. I read too much petting around. I read statements from those in government. All they think about 
is to admonish people, pay cities and blood. We don't have time for that. So, compensation is a human right because it's a human right not to deny citizens their source of livelihood. If their merchandise is contaminated, as you compensated those who had their pigs, in fact, if we saw any people, compensate our marketeers. Yes. Yes. Ah. Now, now, now. now yes. don't break their tables, disinfect the tables so that tomorrow they can use the tables. Yes. Remember, a marketeer's capital may be as little as 100 quarter only. Yes. Only 100 quarter. Yes. Only. If you take out that capital, by the way, which they borrowed through Kaloba, there's a lot of Kaloba in the compound. Yes. Not a bit. So, how will they start after Korea? That's the thinking we in the UPND concern ourselves about. Let me tell you myself. In prison, I learned to sleep only for two, three hours. I've carried on that as my way of protesting. By protesting silently, then I use the extra hours to think about the welfare of the people of Zambia. To plan. As we enter government, we will hit the ground running. Yes. I'm asking all leaders, VP and your team, let us use some of our intellectual time to think for the people of Zambia, to think about how we will effectively run this country which is run down what by the year. We are ready. I don't want to hear you quarreling amongst yourselves as UPND leaders, even at the branch level. There's no time. Let's quarrel about the welfare of the people's hand. Make the PF quarrel because they went into office anyway without a program. They are not interested in the welfare of the people. Exactly. I want to provide leadership amongst you members of UPND sympathizers. Stop fighting on social media. Fight about how best we can mobilize. Quality. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, VP. Stop quarreling amongst yourselves. Ah, oh, SDAs, what's wrong with SDAs? Oh, Catholics, what's wrong with Catholics? It's a nation. We are one. Oh, we in we in Unga, Nimuna Mazai. Is that an argument you can put on social media? It's the most foolish argument you can put. But let's talk about today another recommendation. We are declaring and we are saying to government and Ministry of Local Government and Health today there will be no more fee paying toilets. All the toilets in town must be. It is worthwhile bringing back stolen money from corruption to fund the cleaning of toilets. Don't go and make an argument that HH is supposed to be a businessman. I am a businessman. Don't say I'm supposed to be. I'm a true businessman who understands that there are certain costs that must be met. The cost of cleaning those toilets through those toilet charges can be covered by a public government expenditure, including stopping the correction and I mean the corruption and recovering stolen money. Then we meet the cost of cleaning those toilets because we need not any citizen avoid a toilet because they have no money to pay. What are they going to do? They will defecate on the surface and then the will continue. Yes. 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 Further recommendations. We want the PF to start spending time on economic management. Stop acquiring Kaloba, expensive Kaloba, debt. I told people of Zambia, people like arguing. And I understand, it's democracy. Many, many years ago and months, I told you that the debt mountain was well above the figures they were giving us of 7.2 billion dollars. And my estimate then was 20 billion dollars. Today, everybody's talking about the figure I was giving a year or two ago. That's thinking ahead. 
Even the IMF have now told them that they will not give them the money because the 7.2 billion dollars they claim is the debt mountain. The debt is over 15 billion dollars. Just read a recent IMF document that shows that the debt mountain has reached a size that is unaffordable by this small economy. So who wants to argue with the HS again? Who wants to argue with me again? Why hey, you were calling me Peter? Why are you not calling me Peter? When I say something, oh no, it's Peter. Well, it's better to be bitter and prevent deaths like what we are carrying, yes. what we're saying. Yes. If you call it Peter, but we don't call it Peter. But so the PF must start spending time on managing the economy, reduce the debt mountain, support agriculture, make it viable. Support value addition. Stop procuring everything at a high cost. Save money. Push all this money in the economy. You found the economy when you took over in 2011 growing at 6-7%. Today, you struggle to achieve a growth of 2%. Today, you don't have to be a finance specialist. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. If growth has dropped from 7% to 2%, there will be no jobs. Nothing. I told you that the quarter will collapse. And you argue. I was on a radio program on Joy FM a particular date. One day, I was talking about the depreciation of the quarter due to poor leadership of the PF, and that when we take over, the quarter, the very day we take over, will appreciate it. And Father Guardia called and says, HH, are you a magician that you just take over the quarter appreciates? I said to him, my friend, value has a component called confidence. And when you set into office like when we will do, the confidence will begin to return and the quarter will begin to appreciate it. But the poor father was arguing with me and I only knew that he doesn't understand. Today you are seeing it. Today you are seeing it. There was a small game. And they said, oh, Lungo has done well. The quarter has appreciated. What do you mean? You found the rate that Manawasa gave you a rate at four quarter to a dollar. Yeah, sure. Sure. I understand what you're saying. Thank you. Four quarter to a dollar. You take it to 12 almost. Then when you put the scarce resources by damaging our reserves, international reserves. You draw money from the international reserves and put it in through the Bank of Zambia under a program called Open Market Operation. So that you, what we call showering up the currency, supporting the currency, which is not backed by true production of goods and services. So you deplete your reserves to support the quarter and you start dancing around to Luna Reverse and you are dancing in, uh, you know, Chibo Bosch. Eh? For those of us who are old, you are dancing in Chibo And then you are saying the quarter has appreciated. Imagine. Once the money you are destroying, the reserves you are destroying, which has another indication, right? which will increase your cost of borrowing. If your reserves are down, you increase your cost of borrowing. I don't want to belabor those technical points today. I'm just drawing the connection. Right? Then you say you're done well. What have you done well? You found the question, a full question, $2. So what is, what is it that you are doing in the bus about? Yeah. Or nightclubs? Yeah. What is it? Don't bring the country to those cheap levels. Yeah. And you get citizens get accustomed to low levels of delivery. When we are talking higher levels of delivery, ah, it is impossible. So now can be a ah, now we have a GPL. It's being a GTG. You are creating low levels of expectations from citizens because you are low level yourself. <laughs> then we become abnormal. We look abnormal when we tell you what should be happening. Those who are lying look up, look normal. Those who are incapable look normal. That's what's happening. Please, countrymen, countrymen, we plead with you because the nation is here now. We plead with you. Let us give ourselves quality leadership. The leadership you give yourselves is a leadership that 
will reflect its capability through things like corruption, through corruption, through things. So the point I'm making, let's get the guys to manage the economy better. I know we are asking them to do what is impossible. But why did they choose to take public office? We must push them and push them. If they want to crack, we will help them to crack. <laughs> yes. 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 Some of you are saying, ah, oh, if I say, no, you mean that talking about regime change. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to say, don't talk about who arrest you. No, we want a regime change, but through a democratic process, so that we can save lives of people from that. Why are you trying to why are you in, why are you in your yeah. We want a change of government so that we can implement these recommendations. <laughs> but we are giving them now because we love the people of Zambia. We are not even afraid that they will copy. What can they copy? They no capacity. So, but manage the economy, grow the economy, then you create the jobs. Then we will take some of the youth and women away from the streets and they will have jobs. We will take them away from the streets, they will have businesses. We are also saying stop giving contracts only to PF cutters. Give contracts to all citizens. That will help taking people away from the streets. Yes. Examinations of all food handlers. There's a fee currently. We are recommending that that fee for now must be suspended. Yes. Yes. So that all food handlers examinations can be done without a fee because some of the food handlers may end up supplying food or handling food without having been examined because they don't have the fee to pay, yes. So let's temporarily suspend that fee for now. And that will help in the fight against Korea. We have long-term solutions, which includes to construct trading places for street vendors under the Local Government Act. Proper, proper trading places which are permanent, where even when Corella breaks out, you only shut it for a day or so to disinfect yes. and to clean the water bond toilet. Then the marketeers will be back in those markets within days. Then you avoid killing people through hunger and the riots. Who is helpful? Us or them? Who is damaging people? Us or you in here? It's you in here. Because all these are doing. Yeah. Chairman Lusaka, VP, my dear friends here, Charlie, these messages we are delivering are part of our menu as you get it. And that's why I want you to spend time thinking about the people of Zambia and what we'll do to avoid these issues when we get into office. But we are asking those in office now to save lives by implementing these measures. We've always offered measures in the past. But they don't take them. So, a market is like a house. Can you avoid a house because it's correct? Where would you sleep in? What you do in that corner is to disinfect, is to clean even more. Because Soon as you go on a budget for one week. No. So markets of our vision should be those that when there's an outbreak, not just corona, even other infectious diseases, you can shut them for a day or two, do the work you need to do, clean up, and disinfect, and reopen. Then you will avoid death through hunger and animosity. Then you blame HH, you blame GBM, you blame... Uh, you know, if blaming, if, if blames were bullets, I would have died a long time. <laughs> Even for things I don't know, I get blamed. Even things I help to solve, I get blamed. We get blamed. But we take it because that's the price of leadership. We 
we also want the, 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 the European League wants those in government to start investing in our youth, in our women, to skew them up so that they can find alternatives. If they don't grow the economy now, when we come in, we'll grow it and we'll need the skills from the youth. They must be skilled now. Those are alternatives away from trading in unsanitary conditions. Very, very important. We've already talked about agriculture. Huge opportunities. I mean, can be the largest employer. Agriculture. Potential is huge. But when you offer 60 kwacha maize price and you don't buy it, therefore the effective price is 45 kwacha, you're killing farming. Stop that. Give farmers a fair price of their produce. Lower the cost of fertilizer and seed. Mufundo, mutengo na uni na. Boy, they're vocational. Mufundo na uni na. Beyond levels are for. Ndara ma za mbelo. Let's make agriculture viable and create more jobs. Let's provide affordable loans not only to PF cutters. That's cheap buying support, cheap. Let's do it in an institutional manner that every citizen can access an affordable loan as a marketeer whose capital may be as little as 1,000 kwacha only, 5,000 kwacha. Not based on political affiliation. Skilling our society is dividing our country excessively. Can we stop that? Right? Of course, if you're right, the vouchers is a disaster, total disaster. Today you should believe us in the European League that we never caused that fire, city market. Never. No, no, no. They created it so that they could argue as the longer winner said that they will rebuild that market in six months. Yes. How many months since that fire? Yes. Six weeks, eh? I'm sorry. Six weeks. I had it six months. They went there and again accused us of things we did not do to justify keeping some of us in jail. To justify arresting innocent members of the UPND from their compounds. <laughs> and they're still in jail today. And you tell me, they just forget about 2016, forget about 2017. You are telling me that on social media, when our members are in jail today for crimes they did not commit, and you tell me forget about it, what are you saying? Are you not? No. How are we going to avoid those issues in future? You tell me forget about an independent electoral commission. How will you have elections that do not cause fights and conflict? Elections should be a happy time to choose leaders of competence. It should not be about extrajudicial killings. If we don't talk about them, we don't resolve them. How do we have a truly independent electoral commission? We have noted the appointments they are making. It will never be enough until we have a truly independent electoral commission to deliver free, fair, credible elections. And an electoral season, electoral season, that is not source of crime, but source of joy. And if you don't benefit from a fourth electoral commission, why are you concerned about having a free, fair election? What is your worry? Only because you are beneficial of a fraud system. Fix those issues. They are, they are, they are affected. They are, they are, they are, if you like, they are connected. So we never ban that market. They banned it so that they could now supply into the construction of that market and be earn money and enjoy through corruption again. Where is the market? Inonge winner. Amama mweo. 
Omukwae. Omukwae. Where is the market? Omukwae. You are the market. But you are the market which you promised in six weeks or six months. Let's give her six months. Because if she was talking of six weeks, that's another thing of 90 days which we know never worked. Let's say six months. How many months down the road? You are the market which you promised. Maybe they've started construction. Oh, oh the leaders to account. Why journalists together with us? Why haven't we followed that much? Easy guy markets. We are the market is But we the market. Market is Where is the market? Hold leaders accountable, my dear friends. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.